Hey everybody, I wanna do another thought of the day video before I took off on a little vacation hunting getaway. Thought I would do uh, another video. The first one, we did a thought of the day, I don't know, a few days back last week, and it was received really well. People had like a lot of really encouraging comments and things to say, and, um, and that was great. So I thought I would do another one uh, because I got something really cool in the mail. I got a book from my buddy JR, JR Briggs wrote this book here, The Sacred Overlap, and it came out uh, for release this week. Um, so I got my copy, and uh, I wanted to, to, to say something about it before I left town because I was really excited for this. This is the first book I have written an endorsement for. <laughs> uh, not that my voice is all that important, but uh, I'll read you my endorsement, huh? How about that? Um, how is it possible? says Marty Solomon, creator of the BMA podcast. How is it possible that a book specifically designed to acknowledge the tension-filled space of our faith, like our, our faith has all these tension-filled, like paradox, um, a book designed to acknowledge the tension-filled space of our faith could bring such a sense of affirmation and peace to the struggle we live in every day. JR's work here is a true gift to those of us who have been trying to put our finger on exactly what the kingdom is. He gives language to something that is often so hard to define that we shake it off as untrue. He says, no, look again, that is real. Uh, that was my endorsement for this book. You know, one of the things in my last thought of the day video that I did uh, that people really resonated with and kept talking about was this idea of binary thinking. We talk about the two hands of faith. Um, and uh, I was talking about the cerebral and the intellectual on, in the right hand versus the mystical in the left hand. And then from there, we kind of did some other quotes from the book. But the one thing that seemed to resonate with most of the wa the, the, the watchers of that video uh, was this idea of, of how binary thinking fails us. And in the Western world, especially, we love to force things into these binary linear, uh, polarized opposites. It's either this or it's this. It's either this or it's this. It's either conservative or it's liberal. It's Republican or it's Democrat. It's, I mean, it's an election year. Like we'll be surrounded, um, we'll be inundated with binary thinking, uh, for the months to come. And a lot of people were like, ah, oh, yes, there's so much goodness here. Well, here's the cool thing about that. This book is, I mean, it's about that. So the sacred overlap, it is about um, what's called the Mandorla. How about that? The Mandorla kind of sounds like some Star Wars related idea. It's not. It's the space in a Venn diagram where the two circles overlap. That space, that football shaped space is called the Mandorla. And one of JR's points is that there's so many things, so many tensions in our world, and the kingdom is found right in the middle of those tensions. So in a world that wants to make, you know, binary thinking, we have we have the kingdom that shows up not in the binaries but in what he calls the sacred overlap and and so he actually I don't know if these come with the actual book or if these just come with my special uh, friend package but these these cards came with the book for me and I just love these because the cards reflect like what he talks about what are the different things that he talks about in this book and so to understand this idea of sacred overlap we can start right here with the first one. Uh, and this is, let's just start with orthodoxy, huh? Let's just start, start with, you know, something orthodox. How about Jesus? Well, we talk about how Jesus is fully God and fully man. Well, which is he? Well, well, it, it's the sacred overlap. It's it's both. Like it's in the tension. It's in that mandala, that kingdom is found, which I know, I know that idea raises all kinds of questions for many of you, and it does for me. So let's move on to something else other than uh, Trinitarian orthodoxy. Let's move on to something else. What about... Um, what about uh, the sacred overlap between, let's see if I can get closer here without freaking out the camera, between evangelism and discipleship? Is it, is it, it's the sacred overlap between the two. That's where the kingdom is found. What about the, the rhythms of church? Is church about gathering or is church about scattering? Is church about the bringing in or is church about the sending out? It's, it's the sacred overlap. Uh, who were called to love? Ooh, feels like very Bema-esque stuff here. Who are we called to love? Friends or enemies? 
and and yet it's a sacred overlap and how many of us lean in all these things how many of us like lean into one of these circles more than the other that's just that's just the nature of being human and yet the kingdom is found in the middle of this paradox what about the missionary posture oh, what does it mean to be on mission uh, down here he has relativism and absolutism relativism absolutism and in the circle's context or truth is it the context when you're thinking about being on mission and and the missional work of the kingdom is it about the context or is it about the truth it's it's the sacred overlap uh oh i loved this chapter this was a great chapter uh the kingdom of god is it about old treasures or new treasures is it about old treasures or new treasures Mm, sacred overlap. I loved that that idea. One of my favorites. Uh, the Christian posture. Is the Christian posture one that is towards the natural or the supernatural? Oh, there we go. The, the two hands we talked about in the last video. Is it about the cerebral intellectual, the natural, or is it about the supernatural, the more mystical? Well, sacred overlap. What about um, What about the idea of our calling? Our calling is it about grace or is it about truth and and as he says it is it about grace as an honor or is it about truth as an honesty is it about honor or honesty is it about grace or is it about truth well our calling is found in the sacred overlap what about advent you feeling anybody wanting to sing christmas songs yet what is it september a little early for Christmas songs. Here we go. Uh, is Advent, the season of Advent, is it, about, is it about Christ's birth? Or is it about Christ's return? Is it about Christ's first coming or a second coming? Advent is really, when if you're familiar with the church calendar, it's really about the sacred overlap. Um, and then what about engaging life? Life engagement. This is one, another one of my favorite cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I love this one. What about this one? Life engagement, is it about being or is it about doing? Is it about being or is it about doing? And the truth of the matter is that it's found in the sacred overlap. Now, what do we do with Bema? With Bema, we focus very heavy on the being because I feel like so much of our spiritual experience and things we've been taught and the way that our world works in the Western world, especially Western American Christianity, uh, is driven by the doing, the production, the go, 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 the do, do, do. And yet, uh, so much truth is to be found in the being. But the real truth of the matter, some people, some can listen to uh, the podcast and Bema or somebody else teaching the same thing. And they can just lean into the being and just sit and be all day long. And at no point do we ever get up and do so is it being or is it doing? It's it's a sacred overlap. So, uh, man, just a great read. Um, uh, yeah, just loved it. I was glad when Jr. contacted me. I hadn't really talked to Jr. in a little while, um, and he kind of he contacted me, and and I was on his podcast uh, for an episode, and and then he sent me his book and asked me to help, and glad to do it because it was a great read. So there you go. Thought of the day. Sacred Overlap by J.R. Briggs. Out now. Paperback. Get yourself a copy. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. Just a lot of good, good practical wisdom right here. So thanks, J.R., for writing this. Uh, thanks, you guys. Have a great uh, week or two until you hear from me again. And um, yeah. Have a good one.